Are you looking to automate the creation of invoices within monday.com with just the click of a button? Let me show you how you can do this with an app called DocuGen. Hi, my name is Tara and I'm a certified monday.com partner and the founder of Simple Day. My goal is to help you build powerful yet simple workflows with monday.com. If you need help with a custom implementation, my contact details are in the description below. Let's jump into today's tutorial and make Monday the best part of your week. Now I wanna show you how you can automate the creation of a PDF or Word document simply by clicking on a button. So watch what's gonna happen. Here you can see we have Jesse Smith and I need to create an invoice for him. So here I have all the details of his invoice and I'm simply going to hit this button, create invoice. And in a minute, we're going to see that a PDF document is going to show up in this invoice column. Now let's look at it. Once we open it, we're going to see that information like his name or the date or the fee was actually pulled from the columns on this board. Pretty cool, right? So let's see how we can build that. Number one, you need to install an app called DocuGen. Right now, there are two views that you can use DocuGen for. You can either use it as a view up here, or you can use it as an item card view. They have unlimited item previews, so I would recommend checking that out. But for the sake of this demo, it is on a main view up here. It's actually pretty similar functionality, and it looks the same. So I think either way you, you go, you should be able to follow it with this video. Now, the first thing that I need to decide if I want to generate a document, um, a Word document or a PDF, and you actually can do both, which is nice if you want. Then I decide if I want to send it to a person, like the, the, the person whose email is in that column, or sending it to the user who generated it, or if I want to attach it in a files column and I choose that file. There's a lot of styling that you can do. You can choose which columns you want. There's sub item styling. I'm actually not gonna go into these because they have a great video. You can get started with DocuGen in six minutes. I'm not gonna go into all the details of it. The most important part is that you need to get a list of placeholders for your board. So you're gonna click this button and it's gonna generate a document that has placeholders. Then what you need to do is put them in your Word document. So you're using a Word document and you're copying the placeholders of the columns that you want to show in there. I'm gonna show you a version of this at the end of the video. And I also chose the name that I want my documents to be called. So this is an example of the placeholder, what they're gonna look like. Now, once my board is set up how I want and I've set up all of my columns and I've set up my document, one thing to keep in mind, if you change the name of the column, you do need to change in your document. So just make sure that's set up before. I'm going to go to my automations. And I have a few options for DocuGen. I chose when button is clicked, generate the document using these settings from the document view. Again, you can use this for the item view or for the document view. If you want to see all the automations that are available, you can go to templates and you can look at and you can search for DocuGen and it will show you the different automations that you can use to automate the creation of a document. I'm going to search for DocuGen and if I click DocuGen integration, you can see that there are three integrations that I have. When a button is clicked, which is what we have on our workflow, when status changes or when data arrives, create a document. So you simply need to install that automation. And here we have generate invoice. And as I showed you, it generates the invoice. I just want to quickly show you some of the placeholders, what they look like. So I'm going to go to document design and I'm going to download my document. Just so you can see it. So these were the placeholders that I copied from that original document and I just placed it here because I want to pull the invoice date, the invoice number, the plan, all this information I want to pull. So I added the placeholders to this document. I uploaded it to this section, upload your template. I set up the automation. And then all I need to do is click on an invoice and it's going to automatically pull the data from the columns. 
Hit the like button if you enjoy this video and remember to subscribe to receive tips and tricks on how to use monday.com. Thanks so much for watching and I'll see you soon.